Hey guys, we're in my 2021 Tesla Model S long range version. And as you can see here, this is the refreshed version. You can see the yoke steering wheel here. I'm in downtown Pleasanton and uh, I wanted to do some noise tests for everyone here. I know that the a lot of people have been talking online about how quiet is this car. It has new insulated glass. I'll show you in a clip here. You'll also notice that um, we are in downtown Pleasanton here. There is some light traffic around me, um, kind of cruising around, stopping at the stop sign or driving past me. I'm going to do a couple different tests here for everyone today. The first test we're going to do is how quiet is the car just sitting here uh, with the very light traffic driving by. Then we're going to do another test at around uh, just just city driving so 20 miles 25 miles an hour and then we're going to do another test where we're going about 35 40 miles an hour and then we'll do a final test at 65 to 70 miles an hour on the highway i want to do a comparable to that um, but one of the big things that they've done with this new refresh model is made it considerably quieter inside the car uh, a lot of people again are talking about this online now this test does not have the new um, noise canceling software update. Uh, Tesla has yet to release that. So we'll have to see, um, and we're gonna do another test. I'll, I'll post another video when the noise canceling does come out so that we can do a comparable to that. I think that will be really interesting to see how well it does while we're sitting in the car and either stopped or driving at certain uh, speed limits. I'll come back to this exact same location. We'll get on the exact same roads. And then when the noise canceling uh, software update does come out, we will do that. So consider this part one for measuring the decibels in the car, in the cabin while we're driving. And uh, again, when the noise canceling comes out, we'll, we'll try that out as well. Okay, so first test is gonna be a silent sitting in the car. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off my um, um, fan. So it is a warm day out here today. It's about 98 degrees. So I wanna turn off the fan right now. And uh, let me go ahead and let's do a test here. So you can see my watch. I'm gonna go ahead and click on it. And uh, there's a decibel app here. So while I'm talking, you're gonna see it quite high, but I'll be quiet here and then we'll see what it comes down to. Okay, there you have it. So we are circulating around 36 to 38 decibels at a dead stop with, you know, some light traffic driving by us. So let's go ahead and get on the highway and then we'll do the next test and evaluate how loud it is there. Okay, let's get started here. Now the first one's gonna be pretty easy. We're just gonna go a good 20, 25 miles an hour and we'll see what it comes out to there, all right? So just kind of cruising along here. Okay, we're only going 15 here and there's 20. And right after this stop sign here, we'll do another test and I'll get it up to about 20 miles an hour so we can make sure we understand that. In fact, I think I'm gonna turn here just to make sure we can get proper noise. Yeah, this is perfect. Okay, let's take a look here. All right, let me be quiet. Okay, there you have it. So about 20 to 25 miles an hour, we got about 55 decibels while we're driving. So I think that'll work. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do one more at this speed just to get a good comparable. I have a little bit of a longer stretch on this road. So let's get started here. Okay, 25 miles an hour.
Okay, I think that was a better comparable. So that was more normal that I would say. So we were getting between 49 and 50 decibels going uh, anywhere right around 25 miles an hour. So I don't think that was off at all. Okay, I think that was a very good comparable. Now I'm gonna turn onto the highway here and we're gonna do the next test. We'll probably be about 35 to 40 miles an hour. Actually, we'll probably do it at 45 because again, I wanna make sure that this is consistent when we have the noise canceling technology that comes out next. So we'll go ahead and get started here and looks like I can turn right on red here. So let's get started here. I'm gonna get it up to about 45 miles an hour. And again, we'll do a, a test on this and then the final test is going to be on the highway so let's take a look okay we are i'm going to go ahead and put in autopilot and i want to get it right set to 45 there we go okay let's go ahead and take a look Okay, I think that's a fair test. At 45 miles an hour, we were getting about uh, 58 decibels. So I think that's a pretty good test there. So uh, last test is gonna be on the highway here. And uh, we're gonna get up to about 60 to 65 miles an hour and do our final. Okay guys, so I wanted to point out some of the insulation that you do, but you can see the glass on the door here. See that extra layer that they put? Let me try to focus in on here. See that extra layer they put on the glass? There we go. That focus is a little bit better. So that apparently is supposed to add better insulation, which is supposed to make it a bit quieter in the car. And uh, apparently they put this in all the glass around the entire car. Okay, guys, we are going to be heading south on 680 where we're going to do our final test. I want to get the car up to 70 miles an hour. We will put it in autopilot and we will do a test at 70 miles an hour to see what the decibels are. Um, as I mentioned before, once the noise canceling does come out in a software update, we will make sure we do another test to measure the uh, decibels. I'm gonna use the exact same roads so that we'll have a fine comparable test for that. Uh, let's get this baby up there. Wow, this thing is so fast. <laughs> I, I barely put my foot on the accelerator. It just takes off. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the lane here. And I'm gonna go ahead and uh, set the autopilot we're gonna set it exactly at 70 miles an hour so there's uh, uh, okay there we go now you can see we're on a normal road here um, highway road going 70 miles an hour I got it in autopilot it's a bit bumpy we also have um, uh, cars driving around us in fact I'm gonna get in the other lane here um, it looks like it's just okay there we go this lane looks a little bit nicer smoother but but exactly the same that you would expect out there in the real world. So let's go ahead and um, I'm gonna turn off our fan on the car and uh, we'll go ahead and do a decibel test uh, right now. So let's go ahead and do that here.
Okay, so I would say we were ranging anywhere from 64 to 68 decibels uh, in our drive here, and that's a really good idea of how well we did. Um, as a reminder here, I wanna let you guys know that um, this car comes equipped with 22 speakers in the car. Um, and as soon as Tesla releases their noise canceling software, it's gonna take advantage of all those speakers and the mic in the car to understand the road noise that's out there. And supposedly, it's gonna do a great job of that. I don't know how many of you are big fans of uh, noise canceling. I always use them on airplanes where it drowns out some of the sound of the jet engines as well as people talking even or even babies crying things like that that uh, it's pretty amazing to have noise canceling especially if I'm on an international flight so I really enjoy that quite a bit but Tesla's gonna release that in a software update as soon as they do that I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do the exact same test we're gonna start off let's go ahead and look at the chart I created here so we'll start off with a dead stop of um, measuring the decibels and see if that makes a difference with the noise canceling on. Then we're gonna do our 25 mile an hour test. I'll do it on the exact same road and we'll see if the decibels change then. And then we will also do another test at 45 miles an hour. Same road, same, uh, same aspect of the whole thing. We'll do another one at 70 miles an hour on this exact same road as well and see, uh, see if the noise canceling actually makes a big difference or not. Hopefully it, it does. And again, that's gonna come out in a software update. So I'm pretty excited about that. So that's gonna conclude my video. If you guys have any questions at all, please leave comments, questions down below. Please like this video. It really helps me get higher up in the ratings on uh, YouTube. And please also subscribe to the video. That's also very helpful for me. And if you're in the market for a new Tesla, uh, please use my referral link. I'm more than happy to help you out. And if any of you guys are around the Pleasanton area, more than happy to meet up and I can uh, show you the car. And I know many of you guys are waiting on your cars coming out, but uh, more than happy to kind of walk you guys through this and I'll keep making the videos. So if you guys have any, again, requests on videos, please uh, send me a note or comments below and I'm more than happy to do that. Thanks a lot for your time today, and uh, I hope you guys have a great week. Take care.